and welcome to Southern News Network. I'm Lindsay Settlemeyer. And I'm Alex Schwach. Today is March 25th, and we will keep you updated on the latest campus events, news, and sports. Yay! The sisters of Zeta Tau Alpha held their Strawberry Field Day this past weekend. The goal of the event was to raise money and awareness for breast cancer prevention. Some of the activities included pieing a sister and kissing away cancer. Each activity was $1, and the event was open to the public. Zeta continues to raise money throughout the year for breast cancer <laughs> awareness and education. The Buckler Craft Fair came to Lakeland Center this weekend. The fair featured vendors selling handmade clothing, jewelry, cosmetics, and specialty food items. The craft fair will be back in Lakeland this July, but the Lakeland Center has many events scheduled in the meantime. National Geographic dog whisperer Caesar Milan hits the center on March 31st. The Bacon with the Boss Cake Boss tour tickets are also on sale for April 9th. Senior Jasmine Chowdress seems to have done it all. She's not only a top student, but she has played volleyball, started her own club on campus, and spent years doing extensive research in parasitology. It was only fitting that Jasmine received the Honor Walk Award just weeks before she graduates. It's the highest award a graduating senior at Florida Southern could receive. The 2015 Honor Walk recipient is Jasmine Childress, who is recognized for her outstanding achievements and contributions to the school. I feel most proudly about being a successful scholar athlete. Um, I came to college and, and wanted to not only be a great student, but be a great athlete as well. Jasmine's the perfect candidate and the perfect person to win this award of Honor Walk student. Um, she is an unbelievably motivated young lady who just can manage her time in a way that I've never seen, honestly. Despite Jasmine's overwhelming success within the biology department, as well as on the volleyball court, she did not expect to receive the award. I was definitely surprised when I received the Honor Walk. Um, I, mainly because when I walked into convocation we all had to be seated early and I sat down in between two of my really good friends. And when they announced the award and uh, listed all of her, of her accomplishments and all the things she's achieved, it was just, I was just flabbergasted, honestly. I was like, there's no way, no way I'm getting this next to people who are so involved at Florida Southern. And so when Dr. Kerr started describing me, um, I got a little bit nervous. All that she achieved while, although I knew it, but when you list it all, it's just incredible what she was able to accomplish in her career here. Not surprisingly, Jasmine has big plans for the future, including continuing her parasitic research and pursuit of higher education. For Southern News, I'm Rachel Belli. Thanks, Rachel. After two weeks of troubleshooting, the to-go box machine in Winnie's Bistro is up and running. Students were able to start using the boxes earlier this week. The Student Government Association posted an instructional video about the boxes on their social media pages. Housing selection began this week and will run through April 6. Anyone living in an apartment or homesteading is able to sign up this week. General housing selection will be April 6, beginning at 3 p.m. All selection will take place in Ordway 162. Contact Laura Rycholsky or the Office of Community Living with any questions. Now to Ellie with our weekly sports update. I'm Ellie Horton, here to give you the latest in mock sports. The men's lacrosse team fell to Lynn University on Saturday with a final score of 11 to 10. The team outshot the Fighting Knights 50 to 35 and outgained them in grounded balls 38 to 18. Face-off specialist sophomore Andrew Fisher won 18 of the game's 25 draws. Despite the offensive efforts of freshmen Cody Gray and Joe Kadiri late in the game, the rally was not enough to lead the Mocs to victory. The final game of the season was played on Sunday at Bryant Stadium. Men's and women's tennis faced a tough weekend, both losing matches to Barry. Barry, who is ranked third in men's tennis, dropped FSC to 3-13 and 13 overall and the second-ranked women pushed the Lady Mox to 2-9 to nine overall. Come support Mox Tennis as they look to bounce back when they return home April 7th at 3 p.m. The number one seeded and 2015 Southern Region men's basketball champions, the Florida Southern Mox, will soon be making their way to the Midwest. After their victory against Lynn, the team has advanced onto the, onto the Division II Elite Eight. Their first game will take place tonight against the Eastern Region Champions, Southern New Hampshire, and the third of four national quarterfinals. The tournament will take place at the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana. 
Come dressed in your best FSU gear to watch and cheer on the moccasins in the Elite Eight. The watch party t is tonight in Rogers Auditorium at 7 p.m. Now back to Alex and Lindsay. Be sure to tune in next week for a behind the scenes look on FSC's improv group. Katie Becker has all the info on Studio Box and their recent success as a new club on campus. Thanks for watching Southern News Network.